guys i'm back today with another video this one is going to be brought to you by the company doc red hair i hope i am saying the name right if not i apologize but this is a new company you can find them on amazon and i am happy to showcase a beginner friendly wig Facing the packaging and what comes in the box of course you get this satin bag that you can store your unit in an elastic band with the company's logo and an hd wig cap and then just showing you the inside of the box i love the colors that they chose for the packaging and then i'm going to be showcasing their invisible scalp 5x5 hd body wave closure wig it comes with two combs on the side it also comes with an adjustable elastic band and then it comes with a comb in the back and y'all i was so happy to see an adjustable strap in the nape area it's a 3d dome cap and usually those are too big on me and i'm always wishing that companies would add the elastic band to the back so this is perfect because it fits my head so good and it does come with your ultra thin hd lace it also comes with a pre-pluck hairline you get bleach knots and i'm just showing you what the sides look like everything is fitting comfortable on my head and now i'm just going to show you that parting space so if you don't want to keep this parted in the middle you can definitely part this on the side which i will end up doing Place some of my olive oil mousse at the top to get this to lay down flat the one thing that i liked about this unit is that the density wasn't heavy in the parting space area so if you wanted to just add some wax and take your hot comb you can definitely get this down flat because this is a silkier texture i didn't want it to come off too shiny especially because i am styling this straight out of the box so i decided to go with the mousse and then i'm just going to use my comb to flatten everything out and then use my blow dryer to dry everything down Top is laying down all nice and flat i'm just going to pin the hair out of the way so i can work on cutting off this lace and y'all my scissors just glided through this lace with no issues so do not be rough with this because you do not want to tear it off i already can see this is going to blend in really well to my skin i'm going to be using my lace putty today and i'm just putting it at the end of the spatula and just spreading this across my forehead and i'm going to use a very thin amount i'm not going to be heavy handed with it because i don't feel like a lot is needed If you're in a rush and you have somewhere to be and you are fine with the way that the waves look, I really think you could just kind of brush this out and get the big wavy look. But I wanted to add a little bit more waves to this hair. So I'm going in with my big wand curler and I'm not taking super soft sections in the nape area. But once I get to the top, I'm going to go a little bit smaller. This hair is really soft. So if you want a stronger hold, I highly suggest going in with some type of holding spray. side is looking like i'm gonna go off of camera and curl the rest some of the curls definitely did drop and now it is time for me to remove this elastic band to see how the front of that hairline blended down into my skin and it looks really good now right here on the side i am gonna pull out a little bit of hairs i'm going to cut it down shorter and then i'm going to curl it because i will be adding a swoop however if you are against the swoops you can definitely skip that process into the parting space area so that it can match my skin tone a bit more everything else looked really good i didn't put any powder in the front of the hairline just because it wasn't needed at all and then i am going to go in with my sleek and shine serum and i am going to fluff out these waves 20 inches in length on the website they do offer different length options and it also states that this is 180 percent in density I do like that this unit is very beginner friendly. I'm only 5'2", so this is what it looks like when I turn around. I feel like the density is very natural. And I also love the tiny knots on this lace because it just blends down so good. But make sure you stay tuned after this so you can hear my final thoughts on this wig.
Once again, this is their 5x5 Invisible Scalp Closure Wig. This is the Body Wave Texture. I saw this straight out of the package because I really wanted to see how well it would do if you just don't have time to hurry up and wash it. We have an event to go to, you got somewhere to go, how easy it was going to be for me to install it and it was pretty easy. I installed this using my lace putty. I also used this to swoop this hair on the side. It came out really cute. Um, I'm actually starting to like this product a little bit more. I still wanna play around with it on a frontal, but so far it has been really good for closures and this just looks really nice and soft and I like how it doesn't leave a heavy sheen on the lace. So it didn't take me any time to install it. This unit already comes bleached. It has very tiny knots, which gives you the invisible scalp look. Like you can't even see where the lace part starts right here. That's how, let me see if I can get up close. How good it looks. And I didn't have to go in, you know, and add any powder. I could have cut off a little bit of this lace on the side but they definitely did a really good job of making this look scalp-like. One thing I will say is that this hair is very, very soft, so I had to go in and recurl a few areas so that it could give me this little wave effect. Um, and it was just really in this area that kept dropping. Like, I didn't have to touch up this side over here, um, but I did have to fix a few areas over here. So if you want something that's going to last a little bit longer, I highly suggest going in with some type of holding spray because of how soft the hair is. I'm also noticing some frizziness. Went in with a little bit of my Sleek and Shine Serum. I didn't want to be heavy handed with it because this is a silky texture, but you can definitely see some frizziness going on. I also noticed some shorter hairs floating around at the top. I did go in with a little bit of my wax to lay them down, but I definitely see some that are still popping. On this is great. It fits me so perfectly, especially in this area. There's no extra cap going on. There's no extra room. In the nape area, it is laying down. And I'm very happy that they decided to add an adjustable strap. Look, I struggle with these 3D down caps and sometimes they're just extremely too big. It does not matter if they put an adjustable elastic band. Get that extra strap to just help kind of tighten everything up for extra security. Comfortable on the side by the ear. Of course, it could come up a little bit more if you wanted to. I'm not worried about it. Shedding and tangling goes, I did receive a little bit of shedding. And then tangles, I'm not getting any tangles at this moment. Very easy for me to run my fingers through. Um, I'm trying to see in the nape area. Not getting any in the nape area. I feel like this unit is going to be low maintenance. You're not going to have to put a lot of fuss into it. This is going to be one you can grab for every day. Definitely beginner friendly approved and you don't have to go in and do any plucking. The knots look amazing and this cap fits me good. So for my small head girls, look, you might want to check this one out. If you are feeling this unit, I am going to make sure to leave all the links down below in the description area along with a coupon code. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel once again. Turn those notifications on, share and like this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.